All right, so as, as it happens, people, it usually does. We come, we start to preach, and uh, God, by His Spirit, moves and draws people in. So we stop preaching, and three young men have prayed to receive Jesus Christ as their Savior. They are now safe in His hand. They are now with the Holy Spirit. I trust the Holy Spirit for every person that prays out here and confesses God before man, because Jesus said, I will confess you before my Father in heaven. But if you reject me before man, I will reject you before my Father in heaven. So this is it, people. I do trust the Holy Spirit for all of the 6,300 people who have prayed to receive Jesus in the last nine or ten months. Hasn't been a long time, but God is moving by His Spirit. And He's moving today again by His Spirit here in Town Hall. This area is blessed of God. It's already been ploughed in the Spirit in prayer. And we know we have confidence in Him. And if we ask for people to be saved, that He draws them in and He, only He can save them, only God. So it's beautiful that when you are born of the Spirit of God, you have peace with God the Father. We were all born under condemnation, born under the Adamic curse or original sin, whatever you want to call it. The sin of one man, Adam caused the condemnation of mankind and every person born after that was born under condemnation. But the one man, Jesus Christ, died for many, many, many people and many, many sins, all sin of mankind. And we can partake of that. It was a special thing done by a special person. Jesus Christ had two natures, divine and human. The human side of Jesus Christ had to be there to be able to have the sin of the world, the iniquity of the world laid upon him because sin had to be condemned in the flesh. It couldn't be condemned in the spirit. It couldn't be condemned by the divine nature. It couldn't be laid upon the divine nature of Jesus Christ. He had to have a human aspect and he did and this is why he came to the earth and this is why religions claim that Jesus was only a man he was a man but he was God and this is where it's hard for us to get our human logic and our human thinking around such a concept we think that can't be possible with God all things are possible with man nothing's impossible with man it's impossible but with God all things are possible come and talk to me man this is for you this is really important. Here we go. Every person needs Jesus Christ in their heart. You can come. This is so important. We're going to keep preaching, but a, a young man's going to come. We're going to have a talk about Jesus. That's what this is all about. So here he is. How you going, man? Thanks, how are you? Hey, listen, real good. We just had three of your guys here. They're out doing charity work. Yes. They just pulled up and they received Jesus as their Savior. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful, yes. So. I believe God's got you here for that reason as well. Yeah. And you say people say they're a Christian, and that's good. And you're a Christian. I am a Christian. You're yes. a Catholic. Yep. Yep. When I was young, I was telling the boys I used to be an altar boy in the Catholic Church. Oh, I went yeah. through all the sacraments, the confirmation and first communion, all that. Yeah, right. One day, somebody said to me, "Are you a Christian?" I said, "Of course, I'm a Christian." I said, "Why?" I said, "Mom and Dad were Christian. I'm part of the Catholic Church. I'm an altar boy, and I read the Bible." I thought. I've got it covered. Yeah. You know what they said to me? Well, that's All those things are important, but there's only one thing that gets you a pass to heaven. Jesus Christ, what he did on the cross, and you receiving that in your heart. And I was going, yeah. oh. They said, hear these words from Jesus. John chapter 3, verse 3 in the Bible. He said, unless you're born again of my spirit, you cannot enter heaven. You cannot even see the kingdom of God. Isn't that specific? That is specific. Really specific. It wasn't anything to do with church or mum and dad or anything. This is something we must get right in our life. And I said, I'm going to get it 100% right. Because I don't know when I pass from this earth. I've got no idea. None of us do. You've got to know where. You've got to know who you're going to spend it with. So he's knocking on the door of your life today. He says, open the door to him. He'll come in and wash away all of your sin. Past, present and future. He'll give you his new resurrection life. That's what he promises. I want you to pray. Would you pray with me today and just get this right? 
<laughs> Come on, man. We bow our head before God. Together, we say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I ask Jesus into my life. I ask Jesus into my life. Come in and wash away my sin. Come in and wash away my sin. Give me your righteousness. Give me your righteousness. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you died for me. That you rose on the third day. That you rose on the third day. I receive your new life. I receive your new life. And according to your word. And according to your word. I am born of your spirit. I am born of your spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, that's so good, man. Yeah. I can't promise you anything. It might seem like a